How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today is, a, is something a little bit different than I do usually. I'm at a place called the Zen Clinic. I don't know if you can see it properly, but Zen Clinic. Now you're probably wondering what this place is. This is actually a hammam slash copying area. So this is my first time I'm going to get copying done. So hopefully this is going to be an experience. So they've got a couple of options. I've, you've got the one hour session and you've got a two hour session. Um, I'm gonna go with the two hour session where it's a it's called the full MOT and service um, So literally a full service to the body and obviously you also get copying done as well um, The prices are brilliant. So for the one hour session it's 50 pounds and for the two hour session is 60 pounds That's a full body massage and also a hammam cupping as well. And let me show you the, how this place looks. Look how nice this looks all set up nicely with their own logo nice relaxing music on in here yeah? he's the main man himself <laughs> brother Kausa I was gonna go through a few things go through a few logistics and then get into the actual um, therapy itself really so brother you've come today for a package um, it's called a full MOT and service yes that's it yeah so the process is we start off with a consultation which we'll start off with now and then following that we start off with a massage following the massage we start um uh let's call leg compression okay so and then after the leg compression we'll then do the hijama aspect uh, hijama aspect of things okay. as part of the massage there's obviously a full body massage including a head massage um the hijama is i want to start uh, continuing this conversation uh, I'll find out about what areas or what conditions you've got, if you mm. have any, and then I'll give you a recommendation of what you should, what you should get done in terms of hijama. Okay. Hijama and hijama cu and cupping therapy. So Muslims know cup, uh, hijama as a as as, a, as, a, as a hijama, but in terms of um, in this modern day, it's called uh, cupping therapy. Cupping therapy yeah. So cupping therapy is basically uh, cup, uh, cups that are placed on your, the surface of your skin, creating pressure. And what that does is it brings the fascia to the surface of the skin and also the the toxins and the metabolic waste brings it to the surface of the skin mm -hmm. that's what cupping therapy is following cupping therapy we take the cupping of the cups off we then get a surgical blade and we make small superficial uh cuts on your or nicks on yeah. your skin place the cup back onto your skin and that's when the blood is drawn out that's the sunnah part of cupping which is the drawing the blood out of the body yeah. you probably get asked this all the time does it hurt? Does it, does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I think after your, I think the way that I do cupping therapy or making the cuts is once your body's nice and relaxed, give it a nice little massage mm. and then very superficial cuts. So the cuts and the blades look like this. So it's a, it's just a um, it's a surgical it's a surgical sterile blade. Got it. Um, it's a size eleven and it's just. Just the top of it. So mm. all we do is on the surface of the skin, just go like this on the on the skin. Okay, okay, okay. As I said, the more you relax, the better you feel, and mm. the, you won't really feel it on your body in terms of the cuts. It just feels like a little scratch. A scratch. Yeah, a little scratch on the body. Okay, okay. So that's the um, that's the hijama part. Bamboo cups and glass cups. We don't draw blood out of these cups. Right. So these cups are only used for dry cupping. Dry cupping. So. We create fire, so we, I put a fire on a stick. Place the, I'll it, again, I'll show you a little, little demonstration. Yeah. So what we do is um, put some surgical spirit okay. to, to help it ignite. Once we've done this, we Get a, get a lighter, mm. put some fire on the, on the stick. Oh, okay. You get the cup and you put fire in the cup. The, the marsh, we call it the marshmallow stick. <laughs> so the marshmallow stick you put in the cup and then you place it onto the body. Ah. Yeah? Okay. And then that's it. And then, so that's the process of fire cupping. Got it. Well, fire cupping, it's really useful for like lower back pain. It's really useful for people that suffer with um, sciatica. So again, if you have sciatica, you tend to normally get sciatica on your, it starts off on your, the hip slash the glute area and what we tend to do is put a number of bamboo cups and glass cups in that area 
and what it does is it hits down onto the nerves and we, what we want to do is be able to hit the nerves because the nerve is creating the pain the shooting pain down into your legs mm -hmm. what we want to do is create that pressure and be able to take that nerve out got it. release a bit of pressure got it, got again it. what i would always say is with hijama and copying there's there is no definite guarantees of course However, it's part of somebody's healing journey yeah so what i would say is it's something that people should try because i think it helps a lot of people out there but there yeah. is a risk of sometimes it's sometimes can be a bit ineffective for somebody or okay. somebody may not feel the all the effects of it mm. again usually it's people that have only had it had it one session so if you've had one session I, I can't guarantee that you'll always feel the full effects yeah but the more you have it the, the, more, you have it the, more, you, the more you'll feel the effects of the positive effects of it coming okay people that have back pain so for example myself um i don't have any specific back issues however because of Type of work. So I work in an office in the daytime, in the evenings I'm doing copying and yeah. using the bench. So my lower back pain, I have a lot of lower back pain. So by putting fire cups and just normal hijama, I have it done every month and I feel the benefits of it and I feel a lot more lighter. I just, I feel like from a reflexology perspective, I just feel I can do all sorts of some sorts. Yeah. So that's what I feel like, but again, Hopefully, after today's session, you'll feel that. Inshallah, uh, I, inshallah. I, I, I just don't like giving anybody any guarantee. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. I don't know your body. I, I think, think everyone's body is different, isn't it? I Absolutely. think everyone's body is different. I think, I think people take longer to heal where other people yeah, yeah, really yeah. quickly. In addition to that, there's something called leg compression therapy. Leg compression therapy, what it does is it maximizes circulation and reduces muscle soreness. Okay. That's the, the key thing. You have a lack of circulation in your lower limbs, mm. and what the leg compression therapy does because it starts from your foot and goes up to your thighs, it basically compresses your leg to be able to maximize your circulation within the body. There is benefits for uh, improved arthritis symptoms, uh, reduces joint pain, uh, improved lymphatic uh, circulation, healing of leg ulcers, uh, lower risk of blood clots, reduces swelling. So, again, some people have a lot of people have suffered with knee swelling. Prevention and treatment of varicose veins, and again, just maximizes the blood circulation within your body. Okay. So again, something that you may not know. So hijama is really good for migraines. Yes, I've heard. So there's some. So there's three points on the head. Yeah. So one, if you're bald, yeah. uh, luckily I've got a bit of hair. <laughs> so uh, if you're bald, the center of your top, top of your head here. Yeah. And one other side here, one other side here. Okay. Really good points to have done for migraines. Uh, then three points are also three of the nine sunna points on the body yes so again moving on to the sunna points there's nine sunna points on the body so top of the head side of the head uh the top of the spine mm -hmm. uh, two three four uh one just over here but we just try to avoid from that area just because it's obviously on the back of the head and also it's next to your nerves mm -hmm. so we try and avoid from that area one and uh, on the left and right pelvis area and also one on the foot, on the left foot and one on the right foot. So that's the nine sunna points on the body. Okay. So this leg compression therapy, there's got four chambers in it. So the first chamber is your foot. So the foot area, as you could probably start feeling it, it's yeah. starting to get um, compressed. Can feel it. Once that gets compressed, it'll move on to the calves, yeah. the, uh, the knees, and then up to your thighs. Okay. So as you can see, the foot's getting compressed now, and then slowly but slowly, the whole leg will get compressed at the same time. Oh, okay. Then it compresses it for about a minute, and then it releases the whole leg, and then right. again, it's the, the, uh, the cycle start, restarts again. So there'll be around four cycles of where the whole leg will be compressed at the same time. This leg compression I'm, I'm getting, yeah. it's almost like a, a blood pressure monitor, where you monitor your blood pressure. So I can see on my legs right now, there's a bit of compression going on. And then it's gonna move upwards, is it? Up, yeah, yeah. So it's so gonna move from my legs to my. It's now moving up to your uh, your calves. To my calves. Yeah. Oh yes, here it is. The machine itself. So now it's gonna move up to my calves and up to my thighs. So here I am getting a full body massage, which includes the head and leg massage. This is the grasp, is it? So yes. Yeah, Graston therapy, which Graston is instru therapy. instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. Okay. So whilst we were doing the massage, we've obviously identified a number of tight um, muscles and tension within these areas. So what we're doing now is we're just scraping that out, uh, which is the Graston therapy. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? It actually feels quite nice to be fair. People, people that will be watching this video will be thinking it looks painful. Well actually it's not as painful 
yeah, as it looks, it does leave marks on the body, so it, leave, it probably leave a bit of red marking on the body, which is just the soft tissues that are being mobilised. Yeah. No, to be fair, when I when I seen the tool, I was thinking, oh my god, am I in a, a scene from Saw or something? But <laughs> but it's nothing like that. It actually feels quite nice. Okay, so first process is putting some of that olive oil back on. Okay. Because it's your first time doing cupping, yeah. So I was thinking about doing a something called an eight cup flush. Okay. Yeah, and that, the process of an eight cup flush, I will go through with you as well. So I've got my surgical blade ready and my pump ready here as well. Okay. The cups that we're using right now are the disposable cups. Okay. These cups we're going to start off with doing dry cupping. Okay. Take the cups off, make the cups, put the place cups back on, and then do the the sunna part, which is the hijama, which is also known as wet cupping. Okay. So just do a couple of you do do eight cups, is it? So we're going to do it's called an eight cup flush, and I'll show you which part of the organs we're going to do. Okay. And then going to put two cups on your neck. Okay. And then I'm going to put another s four, five, six cups, uh, which are bamboo cups, around your trap areas. Okay. Don't be nervous, just relax your body, yeah? That's fine. The sound of the, I don't know, what do you call it, the background. Absorb your mind into the sound, yeah? And just relax your body. That's right. Can you feel that suction feeling? Yes, I can feel yeah. it. I'm just doing this just so that your body is getting used to that feeling, yeah? Okay. Before we start. I don't know why I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, boy. Just you'll be all right. So this point earlier, I said, yeah, this is this is for your nervous system of your body. Okay. This cup over here is for your chest, so which is for your heart and your lungs. Okay. The next two is for your stomach. The next two cups is for your, say like your, towards your lower gut and the intestines. Okay. And this last cup is for your nervous system, not your bladder and your urethra. Okay. Yeah. This is what we call a generic flush of your back. I'm gonna place the next two cups, they're gonna, they'll probably feel quite uncomfortable because it's your neck. Yeah. Your neck is thinner, the skin on your neck is obviously a lot thinner than your back. Okay. If it's too uncomfortable, just tell me and then we'll do that at the end separately. Okay. That's fine. Fine, yeah? Yeah. Ooh, I found that one. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So the process that we've just done now with these disposable cups is called dry cupping. Yeah. Okay. So you know the circles I showed you earlier, the image of the circles. Yeah. Yeah. We want to see which which ones are coming lighter, which ones are coming darker. Okay. What's going on in the body? That's step one. So the next process is called fire cupping. Yeah. Okay. I showed you earlier. Yeah. That's number one on. you can see the tension in your neck okay yeah you can see the colors of the various different cups oh it's a relief now oh. you can feel a sharp scratch yeah okay i'm going to be taking the first one cup off here okay which is this one here can see this whole blood is called stagnated blood so this is the blood that's all glued up together so I've just keep that all that up that's all the top built up of toxins and metabolic waste so far from what I could see of the cups they're all gooey jelly blood yeah the consistency of the blood is very thick and gooey right. which is what they call the stagnated blood okay and here are the final results so I had my had my massage, had my um, the cupping hijama done. I've got to say it was a brilliant experience. Um, Kausa brother is an absolute delight to have. Um, this, like I said, this is the first time I've had my hijama done, and the brother here done a fantastic job. Highly recommend it. Um, for for those people that are weary, that are on the on the other side of doing hijama done, honestly, it's not as bad 
as I thought it would be. Um, he got rid of so many bad toxins, so many bad blood. And to be fair, I would have never known about it. And I know it's some, some people are a bit wary, a bit, it's a bit of a taboo. Uh, but honestly, it's Sunnah, Prophet done it. There's obviously key parts of doing it, getting it done in a, in, a, in, a, in a certain part of our body. Um, and those parts are Sunnah. So if a Prophet done it, then you know it's, it's something that we all must strive to do. Um, if you want to follow the path of our, of our prophet. Well, brother, thank you very much. Highly recommended. Yeah. Well, that's it from me today, guys, and this brother here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it, comment it, and do check this brother out. There's going to be details about him down below, if he allows me. If not, then you're going you're gonna to have to reach out to me or to him, and you'll find that either way. All right, see you there.